Hi everyone, I'm Kathy Hansen, your instructor, and this video is intended to show you how you can adapt a single strengths or accomplishments story to three forms of job search communication, a resume, a cover letter, and a response to an interview question. I developed story methodologies for the job search as part of my doctoral dissertation and also converted it into a book called Tell Me About Yourself, Storytelling to Get Jobs and Propel Your Career. Let's look at how the same storied content might be portrayed across various job search communications, a resume, a cover letter, and an interview response. First, as you might imagine, the resume is the most difficult venue in which to tell stories simply because we're accustomed to clipped bullet points that the hiring decision maker will probably spend no more than a few seconds looking at. In the job seeker's mind, these bullet points you see on the screen are all chapters in the same story, but the bullet points on the slide probably don't seem that much like stories to the perceiver. The most common job search story structure is situation, action, result sometimes expressed as challenge action result or problem action result. My contention is that since a hiring decision maker reads your resume so quickly, you need to tell the story backwards. You need to grab the reader's attention by giving away the ending first. So instead of situation action result, I recommend that the bullet points be told on the resume as result action situation. Let's go back and look at the previous slide. Each bullet, as you can see, kicks off with a result and then tells the action that brought about the result. You'll notice that none of these bullets even includes the situation. That's because writing is so abbreviated in a resume and space so limited that you often don't have space for the situation. Sometimes, however, it will be important to include the situation to show how dramatic the result is. Here, the same story is told with more details and more of a narrative flow in a cover letter. The parts of the story that were broken into separate bullet points in the resume are now brought together as one cohesive story. Finally, let's listen to the same story as an interview response told in a more conversational style. Let's say the interviewer has asked the question, tell me about your greatest success as a project manager. My company was struggling with scheduling employees, monitoring their time and attendance, as well as tying these elements into payroll. We needed a system, preferably online, that would make these tasks more efficient, save time, and reduce errors. When management decided to go with an outside vendor for a new system, they chose me to head up the project team. We were on a tight two-month deadline, but I led the team to surpass not only the deadline, but the expected results. Under my guidance, we got the vendor system online so successfully that we reduced payroll discrepancies by 25%. Since we've operationalized it, the company has saved time in scheduling employees and resolving timesheet-related issues. In fact, these processes take half the time they used to. By customizing reports to track labor and benefits allocation, we also cut time spent on reports by a quarter. We did such a great job and made the function so much more efficient that the vendor recognized us with its Certificate for Management's Commitment for Successful Implementation and Design Contribution to Improve Efficiencies. Learners, you now have the opportunity to do the same thing, to create a story that works across all platforms. 